There's something within me that just always wants to do more, do better. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. I don't know. I've never really looked at someone and says, "That's who I would like to be. That's what I want to do." They motivate me. Don't get me wrong. I have a, a mentor that has now become like a father figure to me. I never met him in a boxing gym, but what I'm saying to you is, in a boxing gym or anything like that, there's there's no one that I want to be. It's me versus me. So that's the saying: you versus you. And, and, and so there wasn't no one that I really took to in boxing. I have got a coach that, that, that was coaching me at um, Nietzsche's boxing gym that we always used to have good conversations and, you know, he used to say, stand a straight and narrow. So he was there for me. But in regards to myself, it was just a point that I needed to prove to myself. I feel like that was, a, that was always the outcome. To work on it all round for me, the reason being is because of the age as well. They're not in a rush. They've got their, they've got their whole life and career ahead of them. So being adaptable is great, isn't it? Like being one dimensional is not so good. But then, uh, and there and in learning different attributes as well to your game, understanding why people do things and why things work for some people and why things don't work for other people. Just necessarily because I've taught, taught it to them don't mean that they have to do it. Uh, in regards to that, that time, as long as they know how to do it and they can do it, that's my job done, isn't it? Obviously, I failed my medical scan as a professional boxer, so at that point I was um, depressed, um, I felt lost, and uh, from then I sat down 
I was asking myself questions, where do I go from here?